Hi Virgo, let's talk about love. We're going to do these love readings the same way we've done them the past couple times. And what I'm going to do is pull an energy for, pull an ener overall energy for the singles, for those of you who are dating, and for those of you who are in committed relationships. Then we're going to pull an, uh, an overall theme for the whole group. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to pull clarifiers on the uh the energies that are on the table and then in the end we'll do an overall PS for everybody so God guides angels archangels Holy Spirit I thank you so much for our friends born under the sign of Virgo please show us clearly as it relates to romantic relationships what energies will Virgo be navigating as we come into the coming weeks uh, the rest of March and early April we thank you for clear and concise messages we thank you for love, light, and prosperity, and we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. So if you're single, we have base chakra. <coughs> Excuse me. If you are dating, we have conflict and defeat. And if you are in a committed relationship, we have disruption. Okay, so don't let those initial energies uh, get you discouraged because spirit always has a way of turning things around. We're going to get an overall theme. God guides angels, archangels, Holy Spirit as it relates to romantic love. Show us clearly what's going on with Virgo. Um, give us an overall theme for all Virgos in this collective. We thank you for clear and concise messages we thank you for love light and prosperity and we thank you for clarification confirmation and validation okay overall energy for all of you guys is compass i love that okay so i feel like that spirit saying you know um especially with these energies whatever you're going through it's it's got something to do with your uh like the long-held beliefs, the foundational beliefs about safety and stuff like that. Let's let's just see what this card says. Okay. As long as you orient your compass to true north, the direction of your higher power, you'll never be lost. Um, and sometimes we do. We get into relationships or we... We end up out of a relationship and it's like we've lost ourselves, right? You're entering uncharted territories right now and you can expect wonderful new experience. To stay on the highest path of your destiny, you'll need to keep your compass pointed to true north. Only spirit or, the higher, or a higher power can serve this function. Money, property, prestige, romance, and other material achievements cannot help you find your true path. They are simply things you must experience along the journey. Know that spirit is working in your life, so even if you feel lost temporarily, it will be easy to find your way. Have faith and trust for your compass with spirit as true north will ensure that you'll never be lost, even on a starless night when all seems darkest. Okay, and so that's what I was saying earlier. I feel like some of you are the, the ones that this... This energy is talking to um, the ones that are in this energy. You're struggling right now. I feel some struggle going on. But I feel like Spirit's saying, you know, we, we hadn't left you. We're right there with you. I said the other night, no matter, no matter what it is that's important to us, that's important to Spirit also for us. So we're going to get clarifiers. This is a new deck. It's called The Dreamer's Journal by uh, Barbara Moore. It's got some really cool artwork. God guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, show us clearly what is the, what are the clarifying energies that go along with these cards on the table. Show us clearly for our group who are single. We've got base chakra. For our people who are dating, we have conflict and defeat. And for those who are coupled up, we have disruption. Show us clearly, clarify for us, what, what are you talking about? We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Okay. So clarifying the base chakra for the singles, we have temperance. 
and we have two of wands. Okay, clarifying the conflict and defeat for um, those who are dating. We have the three of pentacles and we have the four of swords. And clarifying disruption for those who are in a committed relationship. We have the ten of wands and we have the queen of pentacles. Okay. All right, so let's let's look. This is you, by the way, in your own energy, and this is not gender specific, girl, guy. It's the the queen energy, right? So let's start with the singles. We have the base chakra. Now I'm not a chakra expert, but I do uh, feel like the the base chakra is about our safety, about our um, our foundational beliefs about security, and you know how we. Fun, not how we function, like how we do things, but what makes us secure. What do we need in our life to be secure? Um, we have right here temperance, right? Because this foundation has been shaken for you. Uh, either it's been shaken for you or as a single person, maybe you're feeling at the moment like, you know, you need a boyfriend. You need a girlfriend. You need somebody in your life, that need. Um, and I feel like this is showing us that, Spirits, spirits wanting you to be patient about that need, to be patient about that desire to, to bring somebody in because there's some healing work to do here. Um, apparently, I feel like for some of you guys, uh, this is like, you're newly single after a very, very, very long, long relationship. And like you never, ever expected this to be where you are at this time in your life. And again, Spirit's asking you to be patient with yourself. Okay. This is about, this is about you understanding that you truly do have what it takes to be whole in yourself, period. I'm not saying that spirit's never going to, you're never going to have another person in your life. What I'm saying is before that takes place, spirit wants to heal some things within you. There's a lot of self-worth that needs to be built back up for whatever reason. Then you've got the two of wands, and I feel like that is your, um, that's almost like your advice card. It's like spirit says, they want you to be passionate and purposeful and um, uh, inspired and charismatic about who you are, right? That's a choice that they would like you to make. But it is your choice, and that's what this card is about. It's about a choice. It is absolutely your choice. You're not punished one way or another. You, whatever you want to do is fine. We live in a 3D a place where we have free will we can do life however we want but spirit is asking you to be patient as you go through this process to be patient you can just put it down right there thank you to be patient with yourself and to allow them to um to help you transmute these energies of feeling like you need somebody to make you complete because that's an old belief uh where safety safety is concerned like those old ideas but they're they're hoping that you choose yourself but they're sticking by you no matter what just so you know so if you choose to get out there and start dating again right now you go for it they'll be right there with you um and they'll be there to to uh i'm sorry i have to say what i'm here they'll be there to catch you when you fall because see when we go back out, we're not quite ready yet. We're, we're setting ourselves up. Just saying. Okay. I love you guys. I really do. Um, conflict and defeat, right? This is the, those who are dating. The first card that came out as a clarifier is the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Pentacles is not about betrayal because the Three of Pentacles talks about fruitful uh, projects and stuff like that. But as it relates to love, right? I feel like what it's saying is you're feeling, you're feeling like all this dating, maybe 
you are uh, you're not like you've turned your back on your regular uh, practices possibly and you're wondering where's your light where's your energy because like whenever we ask whenever we ask spirit for something it's like once we get it into our life once we get to the place where we're where we have what it is that we're asking for it's like we take all those practices and we forget about them and we try to move forward without that. Um, like say for instance, uh, while you were while you were working on yourself, getting ready to go back out and start dating again, you might have been journaling uh, things about yourself, building up your self-love, your self-value, your self-confidence. And now that you're out there dating again, you're feeling good, you kind of let all that slide. And I'm not saying you have to do it as, as often, like every day or anything, but I feel like Spirit's saying uh, for you to continue to have that feeling, there needs to be this collaboration, not with another person, but with you and your creator and your um, spirit team. That's how you were able to move forward. And they feel like, I feel like they're saying, this is why you're right here, because you've forgotten this. You you went off of True North, right? So then there's they've got the, uh, the Four of Swords, right? So I feel like this is great news because it's not, it's like a little check in with yourself. This right here might even seem big to you, but this is just a little check in. Go back to doing what you were doing uh, as you were preparing yourself to get out there and start dating again. This, this work, you know, I feel like it's, I'm talking to somebody who's been on a spiritual journey, right? And you, and you did this work already. Now you're out there dating but that work that you did, it's like, okay, that was in the past, I already did it. But we can't put gas in our car once and expect to drive around the world. Every now and then we got to stop and fill the car up again. So every now and then it's important for you to stop, get back with your true north and remind yourself of who you are. And this one incident right here, whatever it is, I feel like it's, it's going to be impactful enough that you'll be able to put this to rest. That as you move forward, you will always remember to take time for yourself. Okay. I love that. See, spirit's so great. Um, disruption. For those of you who are, who are in committed relationships, uh, I am like, I am actively hearing right now that they're saying that that you're feeling this way because you're carrying too much of the other person's stuff or maybe worrying too much about that other person about trying to make them somebody that you need them to be. That's what I'm getting with this card right here. Um, yeah. Okay. So, and they're saying that this, this is you showing up in your own reading, right? Uh, male, female, it doesn't matter. This is a the, the divine feminine energy. She's She is a nurturer. Queens are always nurturers. They've come a long, long way in understanding um, processes and methods and stuff like that. But they also understand that whenever they're ready to put something in action, they have to nurture it, not control it not carry it for the other person. So I feel like this is, they're saying, this is what you're doing. Like you're trying to take control and change this other person or change this situation. You're trying to do it and it's making you feel very much, um, frustrated, probably a little more than frustrated. But what I'm getting here is they're saying you have turned away from your true North, right? Instead of being this woman, see this woman as a nurturer, she understands that she does. See, when she was in the seven of pentacles, she learned that if she plants the seed and then covers it back up and then just nurtures it every now and then, spirit does their part. And they're saying, you know this, it's part of your growth. You've already learned that before. So step into your power and, and do the nurturing part, but allow spirit to do the heavy handling. Um, it's so funny because just just maybe yesterday I was listening to a lecture about um, uh, how how you know spirit is everywhere and and in everywhere and and it's like the the radio waves and the cell tower waves and all that stuff that's all like just going all around through us right. It's the same thing with spirit. Whenever spirit is trying to do something in somebody else's life. 
and we step in and try to be the one who does it, what happens is we get in the way of their signal with spirit, right? Well, like we say, okay, uh, spirit, you can go take a break. I'm going to handle this. And then all they're getting is what you can give them. What And really the truly better thing for us to do is back away and let spirit handle it. We nurture it every now and then, not by trying to control it, but by loving it, by watering it, by uh, giving it the nutrients it needs. And I'm talking about like I'm talking about a plant, but I'm talking about your partner. Encourage them, love them, and all that other stuff, but don't try to make them who you think they're supposed to be. Allow spirit to do that. You put down the burden of that. The other thing is that they're saying, and this is an active I'm getting this right now is that whenever we see something in somebody else that we think we need to change, it's usually something in ourselves that possibly uh, we need to look at on some level or another where uh, something hasn't been healed all the way. Uh, it may not be the exact same thing that we're looking at, but it produces the same kind of feeling within us. It's kind of like a, a mirror effect to some extent. So yeah, spirit saying, you you've been you've had this lesson already in back in the seven of pentacles that you do your part and we do our part so that's what this disruption's about wow again it's staying connected with your true north because when we're staying connected with our true north we know right we know what we're supposed to do and what we're supposed to allow spirit to do okay time for our ps God guides angels, archangels, holy. Hey guys, thank y'all so much for the loves, the likes, the shares, the uh, ringing my bell, the comments, the subscribes, all that stuff. Y'all rock my world. And if you're a passerby, right, and you engage or you don't engage in the community, I still appreciate the time that you do spend in the community watching uh, the videos. Thank you very much. Okay, God, guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, I thank you so much for our friends born into the sign of Virgo. Show us clearly what is the PS for this group. We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Please show us clearly what is the PS. Okay, guys, PS. Look. There's that two of wands again. And really and truly, I mean, it was, they pretty much laid it out there for those who are single. But really and truly, it's the case in every situation, right? I mean, we, it's about a choice. We can choose to keep doing what we're doing, but we can choose a different path too, based on the growth that we've already been through, right? Uh, in in the, those who are dating, Spirit said, you've done this already. You know, it's, it's about, uh, it's about, You've already done the work. It's about just refill your car, right? Refill the tank every now and then. Um, and and you, you know, you that is in a committed relationship, you've been down this road. You've already been through the seven of pentacles where you understand you do your part and you allow spirit to do their part. Already done, right? So yes, don't forget, all of you guys, you it's it's about a choice. But you get to make the choice. Um, and, and spirit's not going to leave you, punish you or anything like that. If you, if you don't do it their way, but they're trying, they're showing you here what, where they feel like you need to go. Look, it's like the page of cups. This is like an offering of a new life, right? It's a message that this is, this is this fulfillment that you're looking for. This is, this is a way to approach things that bring a new kind of fulfillment in your life. Uh, guys, whenever we put this down, when we quit trying to make other people who we think they need to be, a huge weight lifts off of us. It's huge. You have a whole new understanding of things. Whenever you realize that, hey, every now and then we've got to fill the cup up, you know, fill the tank up in the car, we can go further. We can see more beautiful landscape and have better experiences or more experiences in our life. And right here, you know, Whenever we can overcome old ways of thinking that no longer serve us, uh, we release ourselves to experience something so much more. So again, very, very, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. 
very, very um, relevant for all three groups. And then we have this right here. And they're saying, they're saying to me while, while I'm picking it up, while I'm showing it to you, they're saying, Cheryl, some of them, some of these people are going to be resistant to this message. They're not going to want to hear it. They're not going to want to hear it. They, they want to keep doing things their way. Some of them will feel that way. So I'm just telling you, it's okay if that's how you feel. Again, spirit's not going to leave. Um, you know, whenever we have, whenever we have only known one thing all of our lives, uh, some girl on YouTube pulling cards is not necessarily going to change my mind. So don't listen to me, but definitely connect with connect with spirit. Get in your prayers and and ask your angels and your archangels to please help show you what's that direction for you. Um, if you're if you're here, right? Don't listen to me. Get with your spirit guides. Get get with your true north, your spirit team, and ask them. You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to hold on to your way. I mean, you can hold on to your way if you want. That is perfectly fine. Uh, but you might want to ask spirit, right? And then the same thing. If you're if you're in this committed relationship and you're trying to control everything, um, you don't have to listen to me. You can keep doing it your way, or you can ask spirit. You definitely don't have to listen to me. I love you guys so very much, and I look forward to seeing y'all next time. And until then, have a super duper day. Bye.